Hi, I'm here with James. How are you doing, James? We're doing well, thank you. Fant fan fantastic. I'm here with the Leadership uh, Team Talk blog. What we try and do is get a really candid perspective um, from you, learn from your experience, learn from your stake. It's almost the, 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 the beauty of hindsight. So just think about, you've, you've led people with, with everything that you've, you've, you've achieved. What, what can people learn from mistakes that you've made, James? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you mentioned that. I'm actually writing a book at the moment called right. How to Fuck It Up and Still Make It, where I outline my 50 biggest mistakes and what I learned from it. And I've always been like, it's fine to make mistakes, but you've just got to fix them just, quickly. Just 50. <laughs> I've been doing this for 17 years. But it's like, fine to make mistakes, but what most people do is they compound the mistake. So right. if you've made a mistake, whatever it is, you've got to realise very quickly that you've got to fix it. Many people make a mistake, then they think, oh, should I fix it, should I do this, should I do that, and the mistake lingers and lingers and lingers and lingers. So for me, the best thing about making mistakes is to get the opportunity to fix them. Just move fast and fix them, be that mistake when it comes to your people, your strategy, your product, your product market fit. And I'm such a fan of like experiment, experiment, experiment. So many people spend so much time putting up hypotheses and ideas and concepts and like just get things out, test, 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 make mistakes, learn, fix it quickly and move ahead. Because you were so quick to get your new book in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, yeah. you've got, of course you've, you've, yeah. got, you've got to plug Plugs, your yeah. book. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know you. Can you give us one of those mistakes in the book? Yeah, um, maybe one of the biggest mistakes that I made when it came to people. So 2017, we took on a whole chunk of cash from a private equity company, and I mistakenly thought the only way to get my company to the next level was to hire an expensive, fancy blue chip management team. Right. So I parachuted in six high-flying executives from Diageo, from Coca-Cola, from all these amazing companies, and it was just a complete disaster. They didn't work in their culture, they didn't get our values, they didn't get how we do things, and then within six months I'd let all of them go. Right. And from that with a huge focus in our company like let's develop our leaders in-house let's kind of build people up who came through the ranks with us who know what we believe in who know how we do things who can share the values that we have so massive mistake expensive mistake painful mistake but off the back of that we've developed the most amazing senior leadership team of people who've built their careers over a long period of time in the company so what practical tip would you give people to avoid that mistake well we actually introduced something off the back of that that we call the do dog salary cap so when right. we introduced that nobody could join the company and be paid more than seven times what the entry level position was paid okay. so that meant we had no option but to develop our talent in-house and we couldn't hire people who are fantastic executives in other companies but just don't get our culture or values and how we do things when we take them in. Quite interesting. That, that, looking at that oh, in, a di in a different different way, it's almost that gives you a great incentive to get the lowest <laughs> lowest lowest yes, pay up. Yes, yeah? yes, which is an amazing thing in the business as, as, as well. But I think that kind of development of the talent internally, especially if you've got a strong culture, a different culture, is just so, so important. And I think so many companies as well fall into that trap of thinking, okay, to get to the next level, I need this skill set or that type of person. I don't think you do, you just need more of what you've got and more of what got you at that point in the first place, which is you and your team, which is a little bit more ambition. Excellent, right. Thank you very much indeed. Well, before uh, just, the thunder. Just, just before the thunder. <laughs> just Cheers. Before the thunder. Have a great fest. Cheers. Take care.